everyone, it's Tiny here, and welcome back to my let's play of World of Final Fantasy. Okay. I'm gonna try the big it. version of people. I'm gonna do hey. giant, and then see how that goes. Oh, it's gone a lot smoother. much more. was fun well that's the one way to do it Refia, are you okay <sighs> yes i'm fine thank you once we're out of here saroni is just a skip away Also went back into the forest area and got um, this one from the shadow box thing. That was back there. Wasn't so bad.
Good job. Chapter 7 The Thane and the Knave Uh oh That's a threshold Welcome to Saronia Thank you for your help I'm going to go see my uncle now Take care Why do you feel like you're gonna bite me in the ass? What is it? I just noticed the whole of the town seems to have a threshold around it. Huh? Then does that mean there's a powerful mirage here in Saronia? Very the close. Keep an eye open. Hey, what's the matter? I thought you'd gotten kind of quiet. It's so cold. I thought it would be warmer in this town, but it isn't. Not at all. <laughs> what I step on? Uh-oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. Why are you apologizing to a cat? But you should have seen the look on its face. It scared the honk out of me. Since it's our first time here, why don't we ask around and try to learn more about the place? Sure. I used to think that the Federation were a pretty scary lot. But look at how much they're doing for us. All you have to do is work towards becoming an architect and they'll give you everything you need to get by. It's great. Now I wish we'd gone and joined them ages ago. All these stories the Federation is feeding us are far too good to be true. There's no way they aren't lying to us. Can you believe it? If we raise our civic rank, we can spend the rest of our lives in a castle, wanting for nothing. I've got to get cracking on my own rank if I want to be an architect. Can you believe that? You're kidding me! You actually crossed Icicle Ridge to make it here? That's completely insane! I like your style! When I grow up, I'm gonna be a famous architect! I hate worrying about my civic rank. Normally, I wouldn't give two shakes of a chocobo's tail feathers about it. Now that the Federation sends you to the slums if you don't try to raise it, I don't have a choice. Finally, have a chance of winning the job that has been at the top of everyone's list for 15 years running. This book will provide all the answers and help you find a path to success. Can't make the secret sauce of architect stardom without the right kitchen, so make sure you live in a federation town. Your goal is to improve the metric known as your civic rank. Good citizens work hard for the federation, either by operating facilities, keeping towns in order, or bringing new people under the federation's wing. The more you do for the federation, the more the federation can do for you. So crack up that civic rank. Citizens who attain a high enough civic rank are invited to the nearest cathedral, where they will be informally initiated into the Bahamian army as architects. Don't get used to don't get too used to the cathedral though, because you get to live in much posher accommodations, a castle. A life of prosperity and secure can be yours. All you have to do is give the Federation's cause a little push. Kiss those worries goodbye. 
Is a life of bliss as an architect not good enough for you? Then strap in, Miss or Mr. Ambition, because your ride to the top is not over. Rack up enough achievements in the Bahamas Army, and you will be promoted to an even higher station. Might even end up shoulder to shoulder with the Heralds. You go getter, you. The Federation is your ticket to supreme happiness. That doesn't sound like a little bull. Hold it. The harbor is off limits to outsiders. You can't let just anyone inside. Sorry about that. Whoa! What happened to this place? I know. How can it be so different from the next road over? The moment Seronia joined the Federation, things around here took a turn for the worse. What could the Thane possibly be thinking? You know, from the sound of it, they must have joined up with the Federation pretty recently. I think now I'm starting to see what Princess Sarah meant. Well, for now, why don't we see if we can go talk to that Thane guy about the League of S? I'm probably wasting my breath, but try to watch what you say around here. Uh, sure. Looks like the thing's manor is at the very tippity the top of the town. Let's move it the out. I said for you to scram, kid. Will you just listen to what I have to say? Is that... Refia? Uh, you caught up! What's going on here? Are they giving you trouble? I already told them that the Thane is my uncle. I'm not allowed to talk to my own flesh and blood now? I don't care who you're supposed to be, because you ain't seeing him! Dude, what? Well, you see, sir, we are here to meet the Thane on behalf of Princess Sarah of Cornelia. Have a look for yourselves. That's the Cornelian seal. What now? I expected better from you, considering you're practically our neighbors. Yeah, you tell him, Rain. Cornelius got giants for emissaries? They got some kind of royal Cornelia thing with them. What? You sure? Beats me. You gonna send him packing and take the risk? Wait here. I'll go check with his thane ship. The Thane says he'll see you. Let's go, Refia. Huh? Hey, the girl stays here. Refia's part of our entourage. That's right. She just anti-seated us. What? Toodaloo. Thank you, guys. You're always there for me. No big deal. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a lie. We were all heading in more or less the same direction. You must be the giant emissaries from Cornelia. Oh, uh, yes. We're here to... I hear the Federation finally gave up and just invaded them. Are you telling me the invasion failed? Hmm? Are you here to ask for my help? Yes, they did try to invade, but for the moment... Who are you? Hmm? Why, Refia, is that you? Who are you? My dear, please. It's me, your uncle... No! You are not Uncle Taka! Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> then I was right. If you've managed to see through this facade, then there's no mistake. You are a medium. Yes, I was wise to make sure you left town, and to ensure that you never returned. Where's Uncle Taka? Why, he's standing right in front of you. Make no mistake, little girl. This is your uncle. What are you? How intriguing. This must be an act of fate. The giants from the hills here, and with them, a champion's medium. And not just any medium, one that bleeds the same blood as this body. 
<laughs> it's more than fate. It has to be destiny. How can I not rise to it? That answers that. He's the one who put up the threshold here. Oh, already? Shit. Okay. But I'm not big. Oh, is he? But I want to be big. Oh, uh, no. For this fight, if I knew there was a boss battle coming up, god damn it. Oh shit. No trouble at all. That wasn't so bad. Find us? 
has destiny aligned us? Show me! Hello? Sir Sigmaridus! What? Why are you... Uh-oh. You are a fool to so much as inquire. An imbecile beyond belief to let a medium to champion on fire! Uh, okay. That's not good. Away from death. Away from life, this. Contain the mortal. Now what? The cat? Huh? Can talk. Isn't that the same? Well, are you guys coming or not? <laughs> Wait a minute, I know that bell. Uh, okay! Right. Defend your lives! <laughs> Is that the owner of the inn? <laughs> the gods would caution us. Is this a sign that will not go unchallenged? That there's no way to know the pieces are alive? <laughs> he kind of reminds me of that mummy thing from the slab from Kurt's Cowardly Dog. That episode used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. Ooh, that was too close. Shalada, thank you. Called it. Huh? I just knew you would get yourselves in trouble. And boy, did you prove me right. Uh, what do you call that creepy trick? You're the creepy one here. Unbelievable. <sighs> Would you just put these on, then take another look at the town? <gasps> what the honk? Huh? Is that coming out of the sky? Let the me! I want to have a the turn! Hey! Rebia, you should have a look too! How do you explain this? Don't expect any help from me on that one. After all, not even the visitor who left those monocles at my inn could tell me exactly what it's showing us or how. From what I was told, every member state in the Federation is trussed up like this. So, I thought I'd bring the lenses here, but maybe I didn't have to. The Thane was visibly crazy. What in Grimoire is going on? <sighs> Okay, guess we'll file that one under no one knows. So what do we do? We came here to ask about the League of S, but all we found was a lot more questions. Sorry, did you say the League of S? That's right. Oh, if that's all it is, then maybe I can help you out. You can? Oh, sure. I know a few people right here in Saronia who should be able to get in touch with the League. I'll ask them to pass on your message. Do you mean it? Thank you! Charlotta's been around a lot longer than she looks, so she knows tons of people. Isn't that great? Don't you talk about my age! <laughs> so, like, what's with you in the Catamorphosis? That is a very long story that I don't feel like telling. But... I will say this. Cats get around. Huh? Yep. Oh. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> yep. So, the real question is, what are you two planning to bite off next? We've still got a lot to puzzle over. But now that the League of Vest thing is settled, I think we'd better resume our quest to find mirages. Yeah. Plus, we've got that castle. And Mom to track down along the way, too. Sounds pretty good to me. From here, the best place to go next would have to be the low seas. In which case, you basically have no choice but to find a boat down at the docks. I guess this is the last town on the continent. Okay then, we'll figure something out. So what about you two? Are you coming back to the Solace, Refia? The wolves have been taken care of now, so the only thing to fight off is the cold. Sure, I need some time to digest this business with Uncle Taka. The solace sounds great. If you'll have me. Of course I will. Well, you two, thank you so much for everything. Best of luck in all your adventures. Thanks. Take care. Hey, Sherlotta. Thanks for stepping in to help. Sure. Speaking of stepping in, I don't 
suppose you were planning to make it up to me? For trouncing on my tail? <gasps> oh, so that really was you. Gosh, I was kind of hoping you'd forget. Alright everyone, that is the... I can't, I can't do any more on this episode. Sorry. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode we'll try to go find a boat. And I'll see you there.